We have successfully installed a small water pump on the Terrafin Dragonfly. Today, we are going to test its efficiency. Keep in mind, the pump we are using is a two ounce plastic pump and the tubing is one quarter inch outside diameter plastic tubing. We have two containers, one full of one gallon of water and the other empty. We have measured winds at three to five miles per hour and have started a timer. The Dragonfly is controlled by a simple counterbalance system that synchronizes the wing's position and speed with a mechanical leverage point on the body of the device. The outcome is a coordination of harmonizing the wing's pitch angle to a natural frequency of fluid-specific velocity. This oscillating motion is low in RPM and high in torque, which allows it to be extremely efficient at pumping water. As the wings oscillate, a lever rotates clockwise and counterclockwise, compressing and expanding the accordion pump. Connected to the pump are two one-way valves, one in, one out. Each valve leads to their respective tubes. As you can see, even in light winds, the dragonfly's consistent motion is keeping the pump working and water flowing at a rate which could provide a small village with clean drinking water or provide enough water for a small crop. Notice the trees in the background are barely registering the breeze but due to its large surface area of the wings and the high angle of attack, even low wind speeds are enough to power the dragonfly. Unlike a wind turbine, Terrafin technology is efficient in low currents, inexpensive to manufacture, reliable in heavy currents, has a low cost of maintenance, quiet operation, is environmentally friendly, aesthetically pleasing, and can be made out of a wide variety of materials, allowing it to be mass-produced and easily adopted around the world. Furthermore, wind turbines typically require a 70-foot guide tower as well as a substantial financial investment. Terrafin's key moving components are mounted at the base of its unique oscillating wings, making them easier to install and maintain. Terrafin is virtually silent compared to the 55 decibels of a typical small wind turbine. We have almost hit the four minute mark and have pumped approximately one tenth of a gallon. Did you know there's more wastewater generated and dispersed today than at any other time in the history of our planet? Here are the facts. More than 840,000 people die each year from a water related disease. That is more than the city of San Francisco. 750 million people lack access to clean water. That is almost two and a half times the United States population. Every minute, a child dies from a water-related disease. Women and children spend 140 million hours a day collecting water. One in nine people lack access to safe water. More people have a mobile phone than a toilet. While one-tenth of a gallon may seem like a small amount to you or me, it could be the difference between life or death for another. At the seven minute mark, we've reached approximately one-sixth of a gallon and wind speeds have increased to a steady five miles per hour. When a Terrafin Dragonfly encounters high winds, gust, or debris, a rotational control system allows the wing or wings to sweep back into the direction of the current, bringing Terrafin power to a halt and making it act at that point simply as a weather vane. This makes it much more aerodynamic and gives it a far more streamlined profile than any turbine on the market. We like to say it knows how to hibernate or go dormant to avoid overstress on the moving parts that lead to high wear and tear. It also creates far less noise pollution. At the 10 minute mark, we have reached almost a quarter of a gallon. This gives us a good estimate of one and a half gallons of water per hour produced by the Terrafin Dragonfly. To learn more about our project, please visit us at terrafin.com. Thanks for watching.